Martial arts has always been in America, from the beginning. It's always been in every part of the globe, all around the world. Every culture has a martial arts. Even when the colonial people came here, they experienced the natives wrestling, playing stickball, and all the other things to assimilate war. People wasn't always fighting over here. Sometimes they were playing games to mimic the fighting. It was practice. It was also a way to negotiate, to keep death tolls down by playing games to settle battles. It wasn't always war. Martial arts has always been here. In the form of wrestling, using war clubs, Using knives, made of stone, made of copper. Then we adopted the steel and became experts with it. We adopted the gun and became experts with that. And then, when the gun was useless, we would discard the steel and take the wood and make war clubs out of it. As you can see, in some tribes, they used the gun stock war club. There's many forms of the club. One in the southeast is called Atasa, which is the name of the art that I practice and revive. When people invade a land, they usually rewrite the history by writing you out of it and writing themselves into it as the heroes. The classic John Wayne versus the Indians. John Wayne was always the hero and the Indians were always the villain. The Indians were always attacking men, women, and children, and killing the children and killing the, killing the women, while the cowboys came in to rescue the dead. They're the ones that came over here and killed men, women, and children. They don't tell that part of the story. Who you think taught them the art of ambush and guerrilla warfare? They wrote our martial arts out of history. We're rewriting it and putting it back in history. We never lined up and marched towards our enemy while we had somebody playing the drum to alert the other side that we were coming because that was the way of the gentleman and a civil way of fighting. We didn't care about being gentlemen. We weren't gentlemen, we weren't civil. We were about winning. And we didn't mind retreating. Yes, we would retreat so we can come back another day to finish what we started or what you started. So today we celebrate through dance, through drumming, chanting, singing, praying. We honor our culture and our ancestors. We continue to live. We are the survivors of those before us. We continue to struggle for our families and for our children. Everything we are is embodied in our art.